With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let me explain this question to you. Will there be any tension in a current carrying loop placed in uniform magnetic field? If yes, will it be equals to BIR? Okay, so here is the situation that a current carrying loop, it's a circular loop, this is placed in a uniform magnetic field of radius uh, look have radius r and it is placed in uniform magnetic field okay so let's say magnetic field is in inward direction magnetic field is in inward direction and let's say b and current is in clockwise direction let's say i and radius is r now if we consider a small section a very small section here if we consider a very small section which is making an angle theta at the center let's say here is the center and if this section makes an angle theta here here this angle is theta so tension in this loop we have to find tension in this loop so for this small section if we make this small section here we make this small section in large value of this small section, we made in large value of this small section. You can see we zoomed it. Okay, so tension acting on this section, let's say T. Tension acting on this section, let's say T. Tension in the wire is T. So here you can see that this angle we assume this angle was theta. This angle was theta. So length of this loop, length of sorry this section, length length of this section we can assume this dl length is equals to r into theta, r into theta, r into theta. This small section length is r into theta. Okay, r is the radius. Now force acting on this small section since current is flowing in this direction. So force acting on this small section is equals to according to formula F is equals to I DL cross B. So I into DL into B into sin theta. In this case, uh, DL is along the direction of flow of current and B is perpendicular to the plane. So theta is 90 degrees. So we can directly write I into DL into B sin 90 is 1. And this force acting on this is in vertically upward direction according to right hand thumb rule. DL is in this direction, B is inward. So, ID, DL cross B will be in upward direction. So, this force is equals to I. Value of DL is R into theta into B. This force is balanced by tension which is in downward direction. Which is in a component of this tension is in downward direction or here you can see this is theta so this is theta by 2 so this is theta by 2 this angle is theta by 2 so this is t cos theta by 2 and this is t sin theta by 2 similarly here this is t cos theta by 2 and this is t sin theta by 2 now here we can see this t cos theta by 2 and t cos theta by 2 cancel and t sin theta by 2 plus t sin theta by 2 2 t sin theta by 2 in downward direction 2 t sin theta by 2 balanced by i r theta into B. Since we have taken a very small section that means in this case theta is very small. In this case theta is very small and when theta is very small sin theta is approximately equals to theta. So we can write 2t into sin theta by 2 is approximately equals to theta by 2. So this is equals to i r theta into B. So this theta theta cancel out 2 and 2 cancel out. So from here you can see tension is equals to B into I into R. 
yes tension in this uh, wire is b into i into r and net force acting on this wire is zero because force every uh, where you can see force in this direction opposite direction so this will cancel out so yes net force is zero but tension in this thread is b i r so i hope you have understood this explanation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today